Welcome to the Unilux LED3 strobe light video. In this video, you will be shown the features and operation of the LED3 handheld portable inspection light. There are three different models of the LED3 handheld inspection light. Flood, Spot, and UV. Each is used for different applications. The spot and flood units look very similar. At 30 centimeters from the surface that you are illuminating, the light coverage looks very much the same. But when you pull them back to 50 centimeters, you can see how the flood will cover a much bigger area. The flood unit is best for up-close inspection and a wider coverage area. The spot is best when you want to throw the light further and have a much more concentrated light on the object. The ultraviolet model is ideal for security printing and coating inspection. The light has the same operation regardless of which model you are using. Now we'll show you how the LED3 works. To turn the LED3 unit on, press the trigger button on the handle. To turn the LED3 unit off, release the trigger button. This is the LED3 control panel. You can see the clean, simple to use controls and easy to read blue digital display. There are a total of four status indicators on this unit. Rate for flash rate, duration for flash duration, delay for phase delay, and a battery symbol, which indicates when the battery is low, illuminated in yellow, or depleted, illuminated in red. This is the multifunction control knob, which is used to change the flash rate, flash duration, and phase delay. It is also used to adjust harmonic flash intervals and to engage constant on mode. When you turn the LED3 on, the digital display will show the current flash rate in flashes per minute. To increase the flash rate, turn the multifunction control knob clockwise. To decrease the rate, turn the knob counterclockwise. To increase or decrease the flash rate by harmonic intervals of the base flash rate currently in use, simultaneously press and turn the multifunction control knob clockwise for harmonics, indicated by a solid pixel on the lower right of the display, or counterclockwise for subharmonics, indicated by a blinking pixel on the lower right of the display. To adjust the flash duration, Press and release the multifunction control knob so that the duration status indicator is illuminated. Next, increase or decrease the flash duration by turning the multifunction control knob clockwise or counterclockwise. The minimum duration allowed is 2 microseconds. The maximum duration depends on the current flash frequency, limited to 100 microseconds. As you increase the flash rate past 6,000, the unit will automatically reduce the duration to limit the output to the maximum power level of the unit. If you are going to use the LED3 to align print patterns or as a tachometer to check motors and other machinery, you have phase delay available. To adjust phase delay, Press and release the multifunction control knob until the delay status indicator is illuminated. Advance or delay the flash by turning the multifunction control knob clockwise or counterclockwise. The range of delay can be set anywhere between 0 and 359 degrees. To get out of phase delay, push the control knob one more time and you will return to flash rate control. Another feature that's available with this light is constant on. To get to constant on, press and hold the multifunction control knob and release once the display shows five pixels. While on constant on, you adjust the flash duration by turning the knob. This will simulate an intensity control. If you release the on off button, you automatically come out of the constant on setting and you are back into the flash rate control setting.
you'll find the LED-3 to be a versatile inspection light with superior illumination capabilities. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or for more information, please contact the service center or representative nearest to you.